Welcome to Hotspot 233, your one-stop destination for all the latest news, trends, and entertainment. Get ready to explore the world of Hotspot 233, where we bring you up to speed on all the latest in the world of tourism, sports, lifestyle, and more. Make sure to subscribe to Hotspot 233 for the best content on the web. Exploring the Inchinchin Museum. In Chinchin Museum. This is by far the largest outdoor museum in Ghana, which is a magnificently wonderful and must see tourist attraction that helps one to experience, empathize, and connect with their African forefathers who endured atrocities of slavery. In Chinchin is an evolving art installation using sculptures to tell the story of the African heritage. This location has a rich history for locals and tourists alike. This museum is more than just a repository of African tradition and legacy. It also has a spiritual and personal connotation to tourists who visit. Tourists with the goal of reconnecting with their identity travel to Noa Le Chapeau, a downfall in the greater Accra region of Ghana, to visit the Inchinchin Museum, a museum that has deep spiritual links and an excellent cultural setup. It was established by a cultural activist and Ghanaian artist Kwami Akutobanfo. The phrase in Chinchim is both an Adinkra symbol and a proverb. It is closely tied to our forefathers' journeys as well as their voyages from where they moved, which had many twists and turns. And the museum does an excellent job of depicting this story. The entrance leading to the museum has a 25 feet obelisk and a 25 feet Sudano Sahelian tower that is meant to be a time capsule. The Inchinchim statutes are portraits of our enslaved Ghanaian and African ancestors. Inchinchim's purpose is to document and tell the story of the Ghanaian and African history through arts, mostly sculpture. It incorporates the prehistoric and postmodern period within the chronological narrative of the installation of African history. In this museum, there are arrays of over thousand beautifully sculptured life-size heads, either made in concrete or terracotta. These sculptures located at the museum's ancestral veneration grounds honor the memories of the departed captives who were subject to inhumane treatment by the colonizers in their current state without bodies. The sculptures are an adoption, a reminiscence of Insiso or Insodie, Akan terracotta head sculptures constructed as an entourage for deceased royals and occasionally famous people. The Insodia statues are representational and may symbolize servants or loved ones who will accompany the dead royals to the afterlife. To replicate their lives lived in the land of the living. The sculptures were usually constructed by women, particularly Imrewatia, old wise women, who were not only skilled in the arts of pot making and insodia, but well versed in funeral rites and rites of passage customs. Insodia manufacturing was practiced by the Akans in Ghana and in Ivory Coast. However, nothing is known about this sacred art form in modern times, except for a few art pieces found in shrines, private collections and museums outside Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire. The Inchinchin Museum also has an open-air theater where traditional and cultural activities, including contemporary events such as concerts, are held. The museum also has training and apprenticeship programs for artists and aspiring artists. The museum, additionally, serves as the site for the well-known Inchinchin Za, a biennial creative community labor festival. A guest house is available for the visitors who wish to spend more time at the museum. A guided tour of the museum's countless massive sculptures and installation documents conserve and honor the great history of our African heritage. A visit to Inchinchin Museum will have a significant impact on your perception of our forefathers' historical experiences. The Inchinchin Museum is a must-see tourist attraction for everyone interested in learning about the African heritage via art sculpture. This should absolutely be on your bucket list. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, hit the bell button to get notifications on our subsequent videos.